Aren't you raiders all the same? Hey, come on now. Don't need to be insulting. Commonwealth gangs, well, most of them don't even qualify. They ain't organized. They don't make smart decisions. Basically one step up from rabid animals. I've run with some of them over the years. Every single time, they either think way too small or get themselves wiped out. I make a point of getting the hell out of Dodge before that happens. You realize I'm going to kill you. I don't get it, Gage. What's the appeal of all this? Oh, come on. It ain't that hard to see. You take whatever you want from whoever you want. Anybody has a problem with that, you cut them down. You telling me that doesn't sound like even just a little bit of fun to you? No! Anyway, don't mistake the gangs out here for being the same as those Commonwealth saps. Gangs out here, they got agendas. And they're gonna expect results. You can't afford to forget that. You need anything else? Just to kill you. I want to know more about Nuka World. Yeah, good call. Big time amusement park back before the world went to shit. Well, I guess if this place is any indication, it wasn't so hot before it all blew up. Anyway, we weren't the first to think of this place as a good stronghold. Before we got here, a bunch of traders had set up shop and hired a whole lot of guns to protect them. They were traders. dug in like ticks. That's why it took pulling a bunch of gangs together to even have a chance. Lower than the low of those traders just want to sell things and stuff. No question that it's a good location. Yeah, the traders thought it'd make a good hub, pulling in buyers from all around. We're thinking it makes a good central location for sending gangs out. So we've got Nuka Town, and most of the traders work for us now. They ain't happy about it, but screw them. <laughs> we really need the rest of these parks, though. Every one of them not under our control is a threat. And the gangs are too cramped up. They're stepping all over each other. Unless they get room to spread out, there's gonna be bloodshed. So the sooner you get them all to agree to follow orders, the sooner we can improve our situation. You, uh, got any more questions? Aren't you raiders all the same? Hey, come on now. No need to be insulting. Commonwealth gangs, well, they ain't organized. They don't make smart decisions. Basically one step up from rabid animals. I've run with some of them over the years. I think I, I was fooling around with different options here. Sounds like you've been through a lot, Gage. Anybody who survives to this age, yeah. Been through a lot of shit. Anyway, don't mistake the gangs out here for being the same as those Commonwealth saps. Gangs out here, they got agendas, and they're gonna expect results. So not much different than the Can't last one. to forget that. You need anything else? Tell me more about the gangs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, quite the assorted bunch. All used to hate each other, and I guess maybe they still do to a degree. Took a shitload of work to get them all on board with this idea, so I really don't want to lose them now. If I were you, I'd start with the disciples. They might all be crazy, probably are in fact, but Nisha has her reasonable moments. Then you've got the operators. Spoiled, rich kids. But doesn't mean they ain't ruthless killers. If you can impress Mags, she'll listen to you. And then there's the pack. I'm not saying they're savages, but, well, shit, they're savages. <laughs> I don't know how Mason keeps them on a leash. Up to you who you want to trust the most, but you're gonna need to trust at least some of them. You need anything else? I gotta know, is that like a reference to... I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens, is that... I'm not saying they're savages, but... Nothing else for now. Alright. You know where to find me. I'm not saying it's aliens. It's aliens. Let's say they're savages. This is an odd place. Now a lot of this, was, this is just me talking to all of the uh, the gang. So I dumped the suit so I could get my maximum charisma going. Took the car because I trust nobody here. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Strong board. Now I should tell you, my plan is, 
absolutely to betray all these people. I am not going to end up going and leading an attack on all of my settlements that I have killed myself and spent hours upon hours upon hours to put together. We're not doing that. So, all of this is just going to be a little bit, you know, get to know everybody, advance the quests, get Porter's Gage's perks, and then kill every last one of them, because that's simply how it's going to go. Ooh, the overboss is trying That's just lovely. Now, in this particular video, there's actually just a lot of me talking to everybody, and I give everybody a, a, a little bit... I try to go through some of their, you know, especially with the uh, the operators. I went through multiple options on the tree, and then the last one I took is the canonical what I would have said. Some of them are better than others. Go through the fizz top grill here a little bit. Really, kind of the brightest colored of all the areas. This is, you know, definitely, you know, a perky place. Which is odd because it's an absolutely gruesome place. And uh, really, really, I guess you know it's not likely that you know raiders are going to clean up after the bathrooms and stuff like that. Not going to happen. You know, it's not going to. Call by activate another elevator ride. Now, I still have Strong with me at this point because uh, I don't think there is. I don't think you get. I don't think you get Porter Gage as a companion until after you do this part of the quest. Nuka World. And truth be told, I'm a little bit torn. Um, with what I'm going to do next, because I did a lot of the exploration after this of, uh, of Galactic World. And it was one of those sort of things where, I, just like this, I had, didn't have an opportunity to do it on mic. I was just playing the game and recording what was going on. And I figured, hey, how long could it take to go through Galactic World? You know, figured 20 minutes, half an hour. It's a lot longer than that, and I haven't gone through it all. And I, I don't know... I don't know how much um, how much voiceover I can bring for like an hour and a half of blasting the ever living crap out of robots. There'll be a little bit of it, but I might just put it up as a, a stock gameplay kind of video. You know, a true let's play. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. Damn, These are, Coca-Cola song stuck in my head again. There are a bunch of sick people here. And the benefit of that other video might be just for people who are kind of lost or stuck or can't find things, you know. There's only so much you can say about it. Oh, look! Another robot! Boom! Watch okay. yourself, boss. Because we sure will be. These are weird people. It's an interesting thing where you have a society that is so completely embraced evil. There's, you don't get the impression there's any good guys. Girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greeny Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? Hey. I reckon you're here to talk so, to Nisha. She's your a child. little pet project. <laughs> Don't look like much to me. You want to talk? talk to <laughs> and what are you? His grandma? <laughs> if I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. How can he see? He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way... It would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. That is the dumbest helmet ever. Over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, 
This world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. This world needs rules. Otherwise, we'll never recover. Rules are dangerous because people start to trust them. They make you think you're safe, but once you turn your back, you're dead. Coulter thought some sort of rule or code made him untouchable. But he found out he was wrong. The hard way. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. You can't even see me! It depends on what you're looking for. Someone who's not afraid to get blood on their hands and make some real changes around here. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. Always say before going for the yellow option. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So, if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Now, you know, like, first of all, what, what's up with that helmet? I can't get past the helmet. They can't see. When they were doing this design, who thought, hey, let's make it so they can't it's see? crazies. Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. The Habologists. I don't know about the Habologists. I guess we'll have to drift into a Habologist at some point. Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. See, now at least that has some holes in it so they can see as well as, oh, I don't know, a stormtrooper. But I mean, this is just... Things are boring as hell. Silly as... Ain't no fan yeah. of playing nice I was out of others. smoke since she didn't want to hook me up. Hell, in that case, she deserved it. I've done a lot worse for a cigarette. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> that's just wrong. But I think that's the whole point of this whole place. That these people are all yeah, are all just wrong. I'm trying to find my way around, and you know the, the one thing about it is sometimes the doors aren't as obvious as what you think. Here, it's what the heck I'm trying to figure out which way in. Nothing there. We're obviously close. There you go. It's right through there and not too far. There we go. Now, I want to kill these guys just for their own. Hey there. They're going to head on in over boss. Check it out, they're wearing sharp armor. The same stuff I use that kicks my charisma up. And I don't have a full set yet. And I have a feeling, when all is said and done, and I have blasted every one of these cretins. So, our new overboss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. You can get all this armor. Hey. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. 
I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Regret, I guess? I, I didn't want to kill him. You'd be the only one. Agreed. Not going to make much of a splash around Nuka World with an attitude like that. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along Thanks, with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Um... Soda? <laughs> Not quite. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountain top. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, We'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut- William. Of course, overboss. <laughs> so, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. Now, and I if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak I've, to me. I've done this a but few do different take ways. take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. So, you can see I, I ran through this a few different ways. And I'm not going to I'm not going to talk over much of this. It's all just talking anyway. Comment in the description as to when you see my final choice for my final answers to them, what you think. So, Ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey there. Well, I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> A clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know. What did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Bored? Kind of like this conversation, now that you mention it. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless, Gage's decree means... Yeah, we'll try and speed this up a little bit. When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees. <laughs> what were you discussing when I walked in? Well, you, Overboss. You're an unknown quantity. And we're interested in knowing who we're dealing with. So we'd like if you answered the question. Yes. What went through you as you crushed the life out of that oaf? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. 
A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. And what's that? Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though, by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter. It's kind of sad. It's the same response almost for gold. all the options, Though, which is a little disappointing. more cutthroat folks of their fucking money. If you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. Alright, we'll have a little see which way it goes here. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut well, okay. Of course. Now we could try to go right to the next one. Wait, did I try the threaten one? Was that the next deal? <laughs> I'm sorry. That sounds like a demand. I'm the overboss around here, and I'll do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. Of course, boss. Whatever you say. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. That wasn't as Make much fun. At home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. I think but I did do one take more a time. time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what yeah, here we go. And now here's the canon answer. The one that I felt most fit in my character. Yeah, actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. Great. Another nut. William. Of course, overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all have if we put this place back to doing what it does best. You'd think they would notice that I'm wearing the same armor. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Nuka World. I mean, he had us. Don't need the rest. So, hey, where'd you get that? Did you? Ice and operator? No, no, I just found the other it. Gangs. Well, it dropped somewhere. Shocks. Someone's got a target ring to go in here someplace. Not supposed to hurt the other gangs. No rule against tricking them into hurting each other. Good to know. And here we go. Are we running? Yeah, it's running. I me frisk visitors, but you get special treatment. Yeah, I'm taking that armor at some point, too. Not even a little bit of a question. Okay, now where? Looking around. Oh, yeah. The one thing I'm going to say before we even get there is it is... One of the traders if you wear a collar, food. it's because you asked for it. Ain't no one's Turned a slave that don't want to be. Yeah, then I got in a little extra target practice. It's really hard Welcome to hear what goes to the on nest, here. boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Because they decided to have key parts of the dialogue of the game next to an animal fight. Now, they're mutant animals, so I guess that doesn't really count like, you know, it's something that would upset PETA, but you look at this. So we got some slaves over here. This is pretty much a a true distillation 
of evil. Here. First of all, where'd they get a girl? But you got that, you got slavery, you've got animal fighting. There you go, they got some more people just hanging out. Watch how hard it is to have this conversation. Tell me. Did you have to see me? No. Exactly. Most can handle the good shit without about it. And you need help finding your place here? No? No. I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kit. Got a chase what you want to get. Now I'm a closer look at you. Not sure I'm buying this new overboss thing. I'll send you a resume and references. The fuck's a resume? Whatever. No matter. Name's Mason. The Pax Alpha. This here's our side of it. You might be overboss. For now. I'm the boss of the pack. And it's gonna stay that way. As long as you don't go forget that, we're gonna be fine. The pack? Oh, it smell like animal. Ah. It ain't like anyone broke up about Colter. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. If you ain't smart now, you ain't worth looking. Now, in case you wonder what I'm doing here, I thought maybe if I shoot the dog, I'll be able to hear what's going on. Unlocking the gate seemed like this was going to cause problems, but apparently, um, these animals are pretty much immortal because I mean, that can, I could take down a micro queen with uh, that much firepower. And of course, the phone. Well, the pack only works with wolves. <clears throat> You ain't standing out, you ain't worth looking at. Okay, since it was pretty obvious that I couldn't quiet everything down here with gunfire, I tried to find some place to stand even here. No. I'll walk right up. Exactly. No, it can handle the wrong shit for that bug. You need help finding your place. No, I can handle it. There's plenty of cars in the canvas. You can I've got a chase, but you want to get it. I'm gonna get a closer look at you. I'm not sure I'm buying this new <coughs> thing. <coughs> How the heck can you do that? Like, what's the problem I need to solve? Slow down there, boss man. We're just getting to know each other. Name's Mason. Pax Alpha. This here's our side of it. You might be over, boss. For now. But I'm the boss of the pack. It's gonna stay that way. Long as you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Your people aren't gonna cause me any problems, are they? The pack does what I tell them. You don't get in my way, they won't get in yours. The pack? Oh, fitting. They smell like animals. Ah, never heard that one before. It ain't like anyone's broke up about it. Just figured on his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now, so you're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other game would go along, yeah. I blast this in a heartbeat. Might have to. You turn out to be a turn. At least it ain't Mag's blast. A freak mission. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter.
Don't worry. Rich knew what he was doing. Sure he's still out on that. But ain't likely you're gonna be any worse than Colter. Don't get me wrong. Colter was definitely overboss. Not a man of this one. And things were good in the beginning. But that was a year ago. Then Colter went soft. Wanted to take stock in what we achieved. I'm listening. Sure, this place be the living in the shitholes we had out there. But it ain't the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy. Not even the disciples. And they're normally a chip bunch so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. Gage with the brakes on that. Got us together, he promised he'd find someone to deal with cold. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Coulter? Hey, I only know what I've heard. The story is that Gage talked Coulter into becoming overboss. And he got you in here, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things done without getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went soft, Gage got him behind closed doors and promised he'd get someone to offer him. And you did just that. Might have been the whole point of the gauntlet all along. I trust we're done with the history lesson. Yeah, boss. Just trying to fool you in and why we're all so pissed off. Look, let's cut to the chase. You gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, yeah, of course. Not for my guys, all right? You've got enough to worry about with the dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always work to do around here, keeping the zoo in order. If you're ever able to lend a hand, drop by. Loyalty's a two-way street. Ain't no one sad about Coulter. Just don't screw this up. Man, I mean, I, I couldn't even talk about any of that because you couldn't hear me. Between people shooting and dogs barking and gorillas smacking dogs, and the whole thing was just disturbing, and I'd say the whole thing's going to be demonetized because it's like, you know, bizarre violence on levels that YouTube wouldn't like, but I'm getting demonetized anyway, so it's really kind of okay, really. it's We'll, we'll work with that. It's, uh, it is kind of, I mean... It's an immortal gorilla and an immortal dog because I couldn't shoot them. I mean, maybe later on you can get rid of them, but I mean, that's just... Maybe you open the gate. But that was loud, annoying. You couldn't... You were just glad the conversation was over. And there's nothing about any of these groups that I find this endearing. Been waiting for you. I... This, this place needs, you know, an enema. This town needs an enema, folks. And so that's... We'll just fast travel our way back here and... Obviously, we're going to have to go through everything and go through all the things and unlock, you know. The main thing is to try and go through the stuff and complete everything in such a fashion that you, uh, you've you cleared all the parks, that I've cleared all the parks, get the power back on, and then get it set up so that the traders can have a nice, happy time and, uh, and I have another place to live and probably try and get a bunch of loot out of it in the process. It's, you know, it's an interesting thing. I have to say, so far it looks like a very well-designed... It's a well-designed... Yeah, oh, here we go, Gage. Well-designed DLC, although I would have preferred if one of those uh, options would have had the guys go crazy on me. Turns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath? Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. But they'll do what they're told. And that's all that matters. Oh boy, okay. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. 
Photo bomb. Whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back, one at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what? That'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. Plant a flag? Are you serious? Dead serious. Look, you leave it up to anyone else, the gangs will all just fight over who deserves the space. A lot of these idiots can't read, so it needs to be as plain as day for them to get on board. They know what to watch for. So that's it. Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. <laughs> Why? What's in it for you? For the love of... Ain't you been listening? I'm the one that sold this whole idea to the gangs. Shit goes south. It ain't just your head they're gonna want on a stick. I like my head where it is. So if I can do anything to help keep it there, I'm gonna. So, what's it gonna be? We doing this together or not? That sounds like a great idea, Gage. You've got a deal. You're the overboss. Okay, so that's the first place you can get Porter Cage as a companion. We'll send the, the big boy back to the slug. Because that's probably the most accepting place for him. And you know, I, like I was saying, maybe it's because my charisma is so high, but I mean... I would have liked an option where I could have pissed them off and had them start shooting at me and then have the whole thing kind of go south right, uh, right from there. But... It is what it is. And on this note, ladies and gentlemen, this Aren't is your you Black Knight. All the same? Hey, have a great now. night. No need to be. Nice.